Setting up the drawing area. Vectorworks Landmark has some very sophisticated tools for laying out presentation drawings. These tools typically come into play at the end of the design project, so setting up a specific page size at the start isn't essential. But I generally find that new users, who might be moving from paper-based design, have a strong desire to set up a page at the beginning of their project. This process is covered here to reassure you. To complete this part of the design process on paper, you would need to choose a physical piece of paper for your drawing board, decide on the unit of measure you're going to use, choose the appropriate architectural scale and place a sheet of graph paper under your design to help you with proportions. This exercise isn't a precursor to any of the other design exercises, rather it's a standalone set of instructions to help you set up your new projects in the future. Setting the page size. Create a new file using File New and then choose Use Document Template. Choose one of the landmark templates and click OK. To change the size of the drawing area, choose File Page Setup. If you'll be printing on a printer that's already installed in your office, choose Printer Setup and then choose the printer and relevant page size. Alternatively, if you'll be sending the file electronically for printing on an unknown printer, check Choose Size Unavailable in Printer Setup and then choose a standard paper size to suit your needs. The list includes US sizes and international metric standard sizes. Click OK. The page area will resize. Click Fit to Page on the view bar to see the page boundary. Click Show or Hide Page Boundary on the Quick Preferences bar to control the visibility of the page boundary. Choose File, Page Setup and uncheck Show Page Breaks. Click OK. Setting the unit of measure. Choose File, Document Settings, Units. Choose the appropriate length, area, volume and angle units of measure for your geography and the project. Click OK. The ruler displays your chosen unit of measure. Setting the drawing scale. Click the Layer Scale button that you added to the view bar earlier. Choose an appropriate scale for your page setup and project and click OK. You'll see that the current drawing scale is displayed on the view bar. The ruler is resized to accommodate your scale change. Showing and sizing the grid. To turn the grid on or off, use the Show or Hide Grid Quick Preference button that you added to the Quick Preferences bar above. You may need to zoom closer to the drawing area to see the grid. Use the mouse wheel if you have one, or two fingers on the trackpad of your Macintosh. To change the grid size, double-click the Snap to Grid button on the snapping palette. When Vectorworks offers the handy hint that you can disable all snaps using the back quote key, click OK. The snap grid is always invisible, but when Snap to Grid is turned on, it forces your drawing to fit to the snap grid. Set the snap grid to something small, for example 1mm. This ensures that if Snap to Grid is turned on, you will still be able to draw small lengths. The reference grid is the blue grid visible on the screen and doesn't control drawing functions. It's there simply for your reference. Change the size to 1000 millimeters. Click OK to close the dialog. It's my recommendation that you work with Snap to Grid turned off unless you have a specific need to use it. Click Snap to Grid on the snapping palette to turn it off. Turn on auto-classing. Vectorworks uses a function called auto-classing to automatically classify certain objects you draw to help you distinguish them from other types of objects on the screen.
You'll see classes in action later. But to turn on auto classing, choose File, Document Settings, Standard Naming. On the dialog, check the Enable Auto Classing box. Click OK to close the dialog. On the resulting dialog box, click Yes. Save these settings for future projects. To save these settings for use on future projects, choose File, Save as Template. Name the file My Template. Allow Vectorworks to save the file where it wants to. Click OK. Setting Vectorworks Preferences. The changes you've made to this document affect only this document or any new documents that you create from the template. However, there are other preferences you can set within Vectorworks which affect how it works every time you use it. Before continuing to the rest of the tutorial, it's very important that you make the following changes to your Vectorworks preferences so that they match mine. Choose Tools, Options, Vectorworks Preferences. Click the 3D tab and make the following changes. 3D Conversion Resolution, High. Render mode when changing from a top plan to a 3D view, OpenGL. Projection when changing from a top plan to a 3D view, Normal Perspective. These changes will ensure that when you change your view in the files provided for the tutorials, you will always see a rendered perspective view. For your own projects, of course you can change these preferences and use whatever you prefer, but it is important for the success of the tutorial for these settings to match mine. Click the Auto Save tab. Confirm before save, uncheck. This change will ensure that Vectorworks does create automatic backups of your work, but does not ask for permission each time. It will create the backup silently every 15 minutes. Feel free to adjust the settings to create a backup more or less frequently in the future according to your needs. And remember, it's important to have a system-wide backup strategy in place when depending on your computer for business. Click OK to close the Vectorworks Preferences dialog. You're now ready to proceed with the remaining tutorials.